What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Zakia B. Wright. I am a lifestyle beauty and wellness vlogger. And today I am doing something so out of the box. I am looking forward to doing this because I have come a long way in this natural hair journey. I am going to watch my very first wash and go. And actually we're gonna watch it together. We're gonna watch it together. I'm gonna show you my very first watch and go and I am going to watch it as well so you can see my reactions to it, what I do different, what I used to do versus what I do now. So let's get started. I am freaking flabbergasted because it looks freaking amazing. This is so embarrassing. Wow. My introduction was just What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. I am KB Natural. So, Kia B. Welcome. If you are new The shape here, of my hair was definitely... <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. So today, like, seriously, this is when I started to transition. So, I didn't have any curls, a bunch of fuzz, as you see, or frizz. And this is when I, like cut my hair in a shape myself and it looks so bad y'all i came a long way look at this versus that now wow post a picture somewhere where you're able to see that i had color in my hair will be really really boring like it doesn't give you any pop it doesn't give my curls any pop it's just oh i had did a box color y'all do y'all see any color i don't see nothing it still looks black, so it didn't work. I'll probably have to go to a professional to get it red how I want it. I don't want like a fiery red, but I just want a red that will actually show up in my hair. My I mind has completely changed. My, I'm good like, where I'm at. Okay. I, the red in. I will, I don't know if I'll ever do that again. That's something that it was a first time thing. I seen Jalen Mitchell try it. Natural there you go, I'm trying to try trying to follow other and influences. I was like, learn from me, go your own that route, know what works for color? you. So I lost the files to the middle of my video, so I'm just gonna start from right here. I typically try my wash and goes with a custard and a gel, but I mistake I like a custard and a gel. Trust me, you will learn once you start to get accustomed to what your hair likes. You will learn what you rather prefer versus what's not good at all. This is the Tropical Moringa Braid Out Glaze. Even though it says Braid Out Glaze. I actually really love this glaze. But for a wash and go, for my type of hair, nah. Like I haven't tried it recently, but I, I have other favorites, but that's that's not it for a wash and go for me. Not anymore. Side, of course, you want to part your hair wherever you feel. If you want a middle part. And I don't do side parts anymore. You like I said, you will learn, but side parts for me, not anymore. They just like they look weird to me on short hair. For me, it looks so weird. So I always part my hair in the middle now. It just looks better. It gives you like a cuter, gives my face like a cuter little look. Like my, I just got out the shower not too long ago, so my hair is wet. It's not soaking wet because I'm low porosity, guys, and y'all already know. This just this just shows growth. Like watching this video really just shows. It's not soaking wet, so I do have my water growth. bottle, but it's wet enough. Like you can see the curls. What curls? I'm trying to figure out what curls I'm I'm speaking about because, baby, there's none. There's none. Move this out my way because I ain't gonna be able to see. All right, so I have my section here in the back, and I'm just gonna go ahead. But this is the transitioning stage, so if you are transitioning to curly hair from straight hair this is what you'll expect because I, I didn't have not a coil not not one in here as well I'm gonna take some of that and just soak my hair some more but I can say if you are doing your wash and go outside of the shower then this is definitely the steps that you would take like you want to make sure that you have your water bottle on deck just to see if my curls, I just wanted to experiment with something. So put a little bit of leave-in conditioner in here, rake it through. And then just Y'all, this is hilarious. Just look at this. Mm -hmm. 
And then like, while your hair is wet, you wanna make sure you're putting that leave-in and conditioner in so it can penetrate your strands first before you put the gel on. That's something I do different now. But also, I was taking like way too many smaller parts to do the wash and go. Maybe it was appropriate because I didn't have the, the type of hair that I have now, which is more coilier. This was like more of a straighter pattern. So maybe it was more appropriate, but you definitely don't want to take smaller parts like that because it creates more frizz in my opinion. And I don't know, it's just, sometimes it just doesn't work out. But now, I'm only taking like literally six sections, six to eight sections and I'm doing my wash and go with that. And it turns out perfect. But this, ooh -wee. What's up y'all, I am Zach. This is the most ago. embarrassing video probably that I have on here. I make sure that Maybe I one of them. Very, very good. So I'll do a full 360 for you. And I can't say if this was my first wash and go on camera. I can't remember or if it was just like my first wash and go in general. I don't remember, but now I do want to point out I came a long way to go your wash and go up with plenty of water. That is true. You don't Facts. want a dry wash and go because you're gonna just end up with a bunch of dry frizz. So make sure you have your water bottle with you while you are doing your wash and go. Put some aloe vera juice in there, girl, and shake it up. And I don't do aloe vera anymore. To me, it's just a sticky mess. I don't do that anymore. I just do water. So I'm going to go ahead and sit under the dryer for about an hour. And then it should be dry. By then, I'll come back and I will show you how I stretch it and shape it. I am back from under the dryer. I did sit a little bit less than an hour. I was like so a wet puppy. Five minutes. You'll definitely know when you're ready a to wet puppy. From under the dryer because you will start to feel uncomfortable. And then you kind of just want to take your... And then when you're doing your videos, you, you want to make sure you look and look cute. You know what I'm saying? I got on a raggedy shirt. But I can understand it because I was... So you see I all that red dripping on my shirt. Dry. I was just doing yeah, wash and go so I could get that. But. So I'm just sectioning my hair just so I can see what I'm doing and make sure I am stretching all areas of my hair. I'm going to go ahead and take my Revlon blow dryer and I'm not going to blow dry it completely. I'm just basically going to use this as a stretching method and I'm going to show like you where right now. I can see like the hair trying to curl up. That's the part of transitioning. But I had no coils whatsoever. None. So since my hair is a little bit short, I'm going to take maybe about... The transitioning stage was definitely the hard stage. Because look at that mess. just going to put this on low warm. Here's the settings. You definitely don't want to put direct heat on it. Like you don't want to put it directly... And I haven't straightened my hair yet, y'all. I have not straightened my hair yet. It's been over a year. I, I really didn't tell the difference because amazing. what was I doing with me? I'm telling you, I, I don't think I'm going to do custard and gel together no more because it looks a hundred times better without the custard. My hair doesn't look like jerry curls. Yeah, custards, I just, I don't, I can't do custards. I mean, like, oh my God. Kudos to the, those of you naturals that do custards, but I cannot do custards. I, I To this day, I do not like custards. But my no, hair, thanks. literally, I don't feel any type of crunch. I don't feel no crunch. I seriously just feel softness, like, and it's full. I mean, for the type of hair that I had, that's, like, type three hair, probably. So, for the type of hair that I had, I could completely understand why it looked like that. And it, it kind of looked, it, it was okay. It was kind of cute. Let's do this 360 real quick. Your girl came a long way. I'm just gonna try to finger fluff, so I'm gonna just go through my scalp and try to shape my hair with my fingers. The pick is over with. Maybe I got a bad pick. I don't know, but mm, let's do the finger fluff. I still like to finger fluff. I don't like to use a pick too much 
because it I don't know it's, it's hard for me to shake my hair with a pick I'd rather just finger fluff but I do use it sometimes I think I'm starting to low-key get used to it deep conditioner which has protein in it protein and moisturizer I put some of that in my hair and I overnighted it y'all because I remember I colored my hair so I overnighted that and maybe that has a I I'm proud that I stuck with this journey because Looking back at this video is like terrifying because I just feel like I'm, I, I came a long way and I still got a long way to go. But just this is where I first started. So just looking back at this video is just like low key terrifying. Pulling it up a little bit on both sides. Just be patient, y'all. Like if you are in this this process right here. If you are in that that transitioning stage, just be patient. Thank you so so much. It'll come along. It'll it'll it. Trust me, it will come along if you take the right steps. So watching that video literally gave me the cringes, but I think that I have come such a long way from my first wash and go compared to. What I do now, it is so different. Even in the last wash and go video that I showed you, if you wanna go back, I will link it here. But even it in that last wash and go video, I, I, I do things differently. And when you are on your natural hair journey, you will learn so much and so many different techniques that you every week might be a little bit different until you find something that you can absolutely stick with and to, until you absolutely love it. And so what I do differently now versus today is now I do my wash and goes in the shower. So I, I always, always style my wash and goes in the shower, even from that last video that I uploaded. And I know exactly what shampoos and deep conditioners that I'm running to, depending on how my scalp is feeling and depending on how dry or if my hair needs a little bit of moisture, I know exactly what shampoos or deep conditioners that I use. I am not a product junkie anymore, so I'm not out here looking at other YouTubers, seeing what they're using. I know it works for my hair, and I know what my hair likes, so that's what I go out and get. I still do the same stretching method. I still do that. I do not sit under a hooded dryer anymore. I air dry, and I started to do this last summer. So I started to air dry my hair, and I just like the results a lot better. And what else do I do different? Oh, before, when I got that wash and go done, that was literally like a couple of days after I shaped my own hair. And that is something that I regret. That is definitely a regret of mine. I wish I would have never touched my hair. I wish I would have just got it professionally shaped from the start. And I think maybe about three to four months after that is when I got my hair professionally shaped maybe a little bit less but that is when I got my hair professionally shaped and then that's when my wash and goes really started to improve and I will highly 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 recommend you getting your hair professionally shaped do not cut your own hair especially if you are not a stylist make sure that you are going to a professional for your curly hair shape and then after that you can do your own trims on your own or whatever make sure that you are comfortable with doing that and if you're not they do have natural hair. Uh, the, the people that, that cut your, your curly hair, they also do trims. So uh, if you want to do that, do that. But I definitely will not recommend cutting your own hair because that is what I did prior to that video. So that's something I do different. I do not use that same braid out glaze gel. I use that, that glaze for to, to hold down like my puffs or my ponytails or whatever. I use that glaze kind of like just like as a uh, to lay down my hair so I typically will put that on like if I'm going out to an event or whatever and I want a really really sleek look I will definitely use that glaze that's my go-to glaze for a sleek look but definitely not for a wash and go for a wash and go I have found that eco style is my favorite wet line gel is my favorite and I recently just started using the Mrs. Jessie's uh, don't shrink flaxseed gel that's probably my number one favorite and um, like I said, I do all of my wash and goes in the shower. I do not do them outside of the shower anymore. I just feel like in the shower, 
your the product saturates your hair more so the results come out 10 times better than they would outside of the shower and also the steam from the shower helps for low porosity it helps to the product to penetrate your strands more than it would outside of the shower so that is why i strictly strictly only do my wash and go shampoo deep conditioner leave-in conditioners in the shower nothing outside of the shower but stretching that is all that i have for you today I'm glad that I was able to do this video because it really shows me how far that I have come in this natural hair journey. And if you're watching this video and you are just entering a natural hair journey or you want to get started, I would really like recommend all of those tips that I just said and just make sure that you are staying confident and staying on top of it because where you started versus where you will be like a year later will be completely different. So do not get discouraged. Keep your head up and just stay on the journey. Stay on the path that you want to stay on and you will definitely see improvements and you'll be satisfied and happy with what you have. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.